you can just see how much it just like moves and everything. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I've just washed my hair and I'm about to dry it. Um, before I dry my hair, I'm gonna apply some Aussie Miracle Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And I apply this really liberally across my all of my hair. This does have a um, heat protectant element in it. If you were to compare it to a normal heat protector spray like this Tresemme one I have here and have a look at the ingredients, a lot of the ingredients are really similar because people often um, ask me about heat protection. I will also apply some of this today. Um, I don't kind of like applying too much heat protector because some of them have like a sticky residue which I just don't like so I also just sprayed some of that on my hands and was able to put that on the front of my hair and I'm going to blow dry my hair in two sections um, this side and obviously the other side I'll just leave that where it is and start blow drying So there is the finished blow dry. I blow dried my hair on full speed and medium heat. And just to do a bit of a length check, there's it front. Oh, sorry. So it's kind of way past my armpits, all the way onto my boobs. And then if I bring it all to the back, you should see it's still, um, it's still bra strap length obviously it's only been a few it's only been a few weeks since I cut my hair you can see my bra straps there and my hair is just kind of white right by it so now I'm going to go ahead and straighten my hair I'm not going to apply any more products to my hair I'm just going to section it. I straighten my hair in four sections. Um, so I'll turn on the straighteners. I've got GHD straighteners. And I'll get out my sectioning clips. And I'll just work on straightening this back part. I think I'll show you exactly what I do to straighten my hair when I get round to the front because you'll be able to see a bit better. So I've finished straightening the bottom layers of my hair. And now I'm moving on to the top two sections. I'll just get a segment of hair that's enough for me to straighten and clip back the rest. I'll run my comb through it and if, say, it's a section that's a bit too large, I'll then break it apart in half again. And starting from root to tip, I'll run my straighteners down my hair, slightly curling towards the ends, and I'll do two passes. I don't spend too long on each piece of hair because I am doing two passes. I kind of just move through the hair quite effortlessly. So if I show you again. Always comb through the hair. And go through it with two passes. You can see how that blends with the other hair that's been done. So I've just got ready and um, done my makeup as well and now I'm ready to curl my hair, well waves, this is going to be kind of really effortless waves I hope. I'm going to do this in four sections, 
I'm just going to leave this very top section out. You can see this kind of triangle of hair. And this is the part at the front that frames my face. I'm going to go ahead and leave that out from the other side as well. But it's kind of slightly more hair because I've got an off centre part in. If I temporarily just bun that up at the top, sorry, it's not the going to look the most attractive when it's put up there like that. I'm going to just use a brush to brush through this section. I'm going to take a kind of section here at the back. I'm going to be curling away from my face. And so these are bigger sections so you kind of want to hold your hair in them a little bit longer than you would and then just twirl it around just to help and wait while the curl sets and then that should set quite nicely with the bottom it's just about getting a bit of texture through the hair and then be more precise with the top sections so I just move it away from my face and keep on twisting it around to the end and whilst it's warm curl it up in that same direction that you curled it with the tongs So I've done this whole smaller side of my back of my hair in four sections. So this really is a quick, a quick process. And this curling while it cools is kind of a new thing that I've started doing and it really makes a big difference to how the curls end up. And you've probably seen that I use two different ways to curl my hair. Both work really well. Both have really similar results to the point where it doesn't matter um, if I use different methods on each side of my hair head. And that is it all curled up. And then I'm just going to loosen the curls. So this is the finished result when I've just literally just shaken up those curls. I'm so happy with how it's come out. I've got kind of these nice loose waves, but the top of my hair still looks like it has volume. Um, I'm not hating the... Um, the heat protectant spray now when it's curled because I know I'm not going to be running my hands through my hair but when you have your hair straight and it feels like it's got a bit of like a kind of a sticky kind of texture the comb just kind of doesn't run through it so effortlessly it's not so great with straight hair but it means that the curls have really um, have really come out really nice so I definitely try the combination of those two products in your wet hair if you are going for a waved style Thank you for watching this video um, please comment below and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and when you comment um, you can always give me ideas of more videos I should make I might also start doing some vlogging so if that's something that you'd want to see let me know thanks for watching bye